Hello and welcome back to another great session, Physical Data Model. So we have learned about conceptual data model, logical data model, and now we're going to learn physical data model, which is stage three of the data warehouse modeling or data modeling. So what physical data model does? So what it does is it basically describes the database specific implementation of the data model. It, it offers an, an abstraction of the database and helps generate the schema. So why this? This is because of the richness of the you know metadata offered by a physical uh, the data model. I think we have learned about metadata. I'm not going to emphasis on that. So the data warehouse physical data model describes how the model will be built in the database. A physical data model shows all the table structures including the column name, column data type, column constraints, primary key, foreign key, and relationship between the tables. So let's move on to see how exactly the physical data model would look like. So as you can see in this table, right, we have already defined customer and the product order two entities, and customer name, customer number are the attributes from the customer, and product name and product price are the attributes from product. Now you have this relationship existed between these two entities with the sales as a relationship. Now you're going to define what is the primary key for the customer number and what is the unique key for the pro, you know, uh, product entity. So here they have identified customer number as a primary key for the customer. So you might be asking what is primary key? So primary key is just another field in a table uh, which uniquely, you know, which is basically unique in nature, identifies each row or a record in a database table. Please make a point. So each row has to be unique here. So primary keys must contain the unique values. So primary key column cannot have the null values. A table can have only one primary key. Which many can, you know, which may consist of single or multiple fields. Okay, so this is about what is primary key. So unique key is also more or less same thing, but only thing is in the unique key, so it will have only one unique key per table. So and the data within that key or data within that field will become, you know, the unique in nature. So you will learn about this primary key and unique key in the later session. Uh, these are basically like, you know, to maintain, uh, you know, the relationship between the two tables uh, in terms of primary key, unique key, foreign key constraints. These are basically the constraints on a table. Alright, so let's understand what are the different characteristics of logical data model. So, when I say the characteristics, basically, um, it's basically like, you know, we have already discussed what are the different, uh, you know, how, how based on what characteristics we are going to define it as a physical data model. So in this model, you will specify all the tables and columns that are available in the model. So you will have to specify what are the different dimension tables and fact tables, attributes and metrics. This is your last chance to define all this because this is the end of data modeling. So you have to be cautious in make sure and sure like, you know, you're going to cover all the dimension tables, fact tables, attributes, and metrics uh, in this particular stage. So you will use the foreign key to identify relationship between the tables in the model. So foreign keys are what? So the foreign keys are basically helps in building the relationship among the tables. For example, you have sales table and the customer age group table. Here, the customer name from both the table will be used as a foreign, you know, foreign key table to establish the relationship between these two tables. Because you will have one foreign key, whatever the key you have in one table, you will have the same key in the other table. This is called as foreign key. So you, third, third uh, characteristic is you may want to denormalize the tables based on your requirements. Denormalization will speed up the data retrieval mechanism. So data warehouse is built more on the foundation where the data retrieval is given more importance rather than the data calculations. So the tables are denormalized as much as possible for the better performance. Physical considerations may cause 
the physical data model to be quite different from the logical data model. Physical models are more technical in nature and in nature than, than the logical data models, hence they are different uh, from each other. Physical data model will be different from different RDBMS. So I'll, I'll, I'll help you explaining this particular, uh, you know, the point with an example. So uh, you know about RDBMS, uh, you know, uh, systems like Oracle and SQL and Oracle and SQL use the primary and the foreign keys, whereas Netizer does not use. You know, Netizer is another tool which is used as a data warehouse tool. So you may want to generate the table structure specific to that particular RDBMS. Way the table structure like, you know, the primary key, foreign key constraints differ from one RDBMS to the other. So you have to be cautious and you need to follow uh, the, 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 the person to work on those tools uh, who have expertise in that tool. So otherwise the performance take a toll on it. That's why, you know, so when you're defining any physical data model, you are at the lowest granular level. And if you commit any mistake in defining any data model, that is going to cost you heavily so that you know it is going to affect your business as well. So you have to be very cautious in physical data model. I hope you understood uh, this uh, particular chapter. The, these, uh, you know, conceptual, logical, and physical data models are very important session from the uh, data warehouse perspective because these are kind of, you know, the foundational level. Based on this, you know, the, your data warehouse system uh, is going to have, uh, you know, is, is, is uh, you know, sustainability, sustainability is going to be decided. I, I hope you enjoyed this session and we'll see you in the next chapter.